Star, motherfuckers. Look, look, I still have the Bronco. Imagine that. Even though I haven't done any videos in a long time. I have, though. I've made a lot of videos, and then I go to edit them, and I just don't finish it. Or I'm not happy with it, or something, and it's been months. And then it was months before that, from while I was actually building it, so I'm just a slacker, and I'm terribly sorry. But we're here, and we're here today, and, uh, and let's go over it. So I've enjoyed the shit out of the Bronco, um, probably like 10,000 miles, I want to say, or right around there, nine to 10,000 miles, and 50% or more is, is dirt, for sure, absolutely positive on that and she's amazing um i've added quite a few things i've done some stuff um i'm gonna eliminate some things so let's go over uh we've got the front bumper which i really enjoy the look of it um i'm overall really happy with it but i want to change the approach angle so i am going to get rid of of that the winch um, carrier bracket thingy, and we're going to kind of redo the bottom. Um, I've added up front, I added triple bypasses. Those work really well. And, uh, for me to do that, I had to... Um, make a new coolant reservoir. So those are two cheap aluminum um, overflow tanks, expansion tanks from Amazon that I welded together, drilled a hole in one area where it's twisted to get more coolant in there. And it is the... Um, Fuck, now I can't even remember. It's an expansion, and then if it goes into the overflow, it can suck that back in if it needs it. It works with science. I don't fucking know, but it works. So we've got bumper kind of done where I like it, but I'm changing it. Triple bypasses. Um, I added... We've got a radio. We've got a uh, rugged radio intercom. That's a fiasco that I should make a whole video on. Because I tried to make it all myself in true Richie fashion. And uh, it took months and, and money. And I should have just bought that in the first place. Kind of ridiculous. Um, I run... Got some bows military tactical headsets that our fine men and women of our armed forces would wear while they're in the Humvees. They're sick. When they're, when they're all new, they are sick. Um, or when they're what they are, they're sick. Because everything that they are, I took out and I put a helmet kit in so I can try to salvage the headsets and, and some money. Uh, in the Logandale video, I had dual spares back here. Since then, those are gone. Uh, they moved just a little bit more than I wanted. So that kind of sucks. But once I do the cage, I'm going to tie them into it. Those will be back on there. But for now, I made a mount in here using an old um, Razor spare tire mount and kind of built it that way um colors different a little bit she's basically all one color besides the doors and the lid not being black but that's a theme my buddy Corey said that he'd buy me this if i painted it like this so i did besides the you know the cop stuff on it I don't want to get, get busted for impersonating a, a police officer and all of my police officerness. 
Um, I made a traction bar, an anti-wrap bar. Slash skid plate. So I made this to protect the transfer case along with the traction bar. And uh, we've got these pivots here and that mount back there. This came out pretty good. I'm pretty stoked with that. It works really good. So you can put all the dance moves on the floor without issue. Um, I don't get axle wrap anymore. And now my aluminum transfer case is protected. And that is kind of, it is an imitation of James Duff. They make one that they sell for the Broncos. And um, I went with that design, incorporated it into the skid plate, and I'm happy with that. Uh, all that stuff I bought from Rough Stuff Specialties, the Heim joints, the bushing kits, um, the um, rear brackets for the axle, and the little pieces where it pivots up front. You saw it. I don't need to explain it all, but that's where I got it. <laughs> um, the engine, the 5.3 is still running strong. Besides the fact it had metal in the oil a while ago. <sighs> so I changed the oil every three to 500 miles. It's a lot, I know. But she's still running, so that's a good thing. It has developed a slight tick. I'm not sure if that's an exhaust leak or something else. Getting ready to not be excited. But I'm excited, and you should be excited too, because we've got the 6L. It's the LQ9 with flat tops. And I have a set of... 862, 862 heads, um, they were on like a 4.8 or a 5.3. So smaller combustion chambers, it's gonna give me more compression. From everything that I've read on the interwebs, I believe, uh, I still don't know, because I get conflicting reports. It's either 11.2 to one or 11.4 to one. I'm gonna run a thicker head gasket. Um, we're gonna see if we can curb that just a little bit uh, that way I'm not building as much heat while I'm out running washes or whatever we're doing. I ordered a nice torquey comp cam to keep all my power down low without a crazy overlap because I'm not going to some yee yee truck show where I need a ridiculous idle and I'm not doing donuts in the middle of the street. So she will idle like a goddamn man. Not no crazy kid. <laughs> She's gonna be torquey, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be nice, it's gonna be great. Uh, Beehive Springs I ordered, um, Morel Lifters, got the Trunnion um, kit for the rockers. Uh, timing gear and chain set. <sighs> so that'll be coming down the pipeline soon. Really soon, I need to get this going. And then after that, I will be caging the Bronco. And then once the Bronco's caged, I can get my soft top and build my roof rack. Fuck, there's so much to do. Oh, I got AC stuff too. I found a limo at the junkyard with um, remote AC units. And I took both of those out. That way I can kind of make the AC how I want on this. When the 6.0 goes in, after I get the cage done. So it'll be before next summer. Not this summer, before next summer. That's that, that's where we're at. That's all the stuff I've done. That's what I've done with the Bronco. That's the enjoyment I've got out of the Bronco, which has been a fuck ton. So good. Money, money, well saved and well spent. Thanks for watching. I will I'll try to make more videos. I really appreciate anybody who watches these, especially if you watch these frequently. Thank you. I'm saying frequently, like I make videos all the freaking time. Jesus Christ. Fuck. All right, guys. Peace out.